the uh, Saudi Arabia statement today that uh, they will retaliate uh, uh, if there are any uh, sanctions or retaliatory measures as a result of their uh, apparent uh, assassination and dismemberment of Jamal Khashoggi is a clear act of desperation. Uh, this, uh, uh, the apparent murder and dismemberment of Jamal Khashoggi uh, is a clear demonstration of the Crown Prince's swagger and bluster and irresponsible uh, leadership. He has been strutting around the Middle East, engaging in a, a war of uh, aggression and terror in Yemen, kidnapping the Lebanese prime minister, and now uh, assassinating and dismembering uh, a uh, journalist in its consulate uh, in Istanbul, uh, believing that uh, because uh, he has uh, what he believes warm relations with Donald Trump, he can do whatever he wants. And the backlash uh, around the globe and even in Washington on both sides of the political spectrum, uh, conservative uh, uh, and uh, uh, liberal, Democrat and Republican, I think is uh, uh, going to be too much for him to bear. Uh, the, uh, the Saudis uh, have long been on thin ice from a geopolitical point of view and then internally. Uh, I firmly believe that uh, the, uh, this relationship of the United States propping up the uh, artificial house of Saud is probably going to come to an end in some form or fashion. Um, while Donald Trump does not want to uh, uh, cancel a, a projected $110 billion arms deal, he may have little choice given U.S. law uh, on the, the matter, specifically the Medvedsky Act. Uh, however, I think the, the moral implications on both sides of the political spectrum and the outcry around the globe, uh, particularly with U.S. allies, are going to demand that Donald Trump uh, act uh, and act uh, decisively. And if he does not act, then most likely the Congress uh, uh, and, and the uh, global community will act uh, for him and leave him a uh, little choice. It's time for the U.S. to to discontinue its relationship with this bandit regime in Riyadh and, and re-engage uh, with, with Iran. Uh, it would be politically uh, smart, economically smart, and geopolitically smart for the United States to engage with Iran uh, uh, across the board.